So, if you've been keeping up with the media, chances are you have, I mean, because after all, that's why you clicked on this video, you will notice that the game TV show known as Squid Game on Netflix broke the internet. Pretty much every single content creator, you name it, is making Squid Game videos, no matter what. Whether they be an IRL YouTuber, a vlogging YouTuber, or a gaming YouTuber, they're all doing it. And one of the games that they seem to do a lot is Dalgona, better known as Honeycomb Game. It's basically the game where the characters are required to put the pin in the candy, trace the candy without breaking it, and successfully remove it. If they fail, they get shot. Pretty simple. So I thought to myself, well, I'm a 3D artist. Hmm. Would making a robot do the job of making the candy, would that make the candy more durable or more weaker? And obviously you're sitting there at the computer screen probably thinking, like, are you serious? I mean, come on, of course plastic is stronger than, you know, sugar candy. But there's a thing nowadays, most printers actually use edible, so most printers can actually use edible filament, which means it's pretty much edible. It's a little bit tougher than obviously a cookie, but like it's still edible, of course. So I decided, well, maybe I should put that to the test. Would a candy made by a human be more breakable than if it was made by a robot? And, you know, I think it's a cool test because, you know, technology is, you know, always trying to like prove people that they're better. So I thought, you know what, why don't I, you know, experiment? So. I did a little bit of 3D tinkering and here's my progress. Now obviously pretty much majority of the shapes were pretty easy to carve out. The only real trouble I had was probably the one with the umbrella which I mean was fair enough because most of the people in the squid game were also having trouble with the umbrella too. So yeah anyways um, now that I've managed to get all of the things down well, might as well print it out and export it to a printer and let's see how it does. Also, if you're wondering why I stuck a stick to each of the cutters or the cookie cutters or candy cutters or as you would call it was because um, just like in the TV show, the guards also have a little handle on the thing. I assume that's done to maximize accuracy. So yeah, that's why, that's why it's there. And obviously, you don't have to print out the container. So yeah, the cookie pretty much is basically a cylinder with a triangle or whatever shape mold in the middle. That's pretty much all it is. And in order to make that mold, all you have to do is basically create the cylinder, create a you're gonna print out a hole in the thing so then that way it's super super slim and then you're gonna stick the hole in the cookie i know this sounds weird but this video uh i'm gonna put like some explanate explanation in the background so hopefully they will explain it so that's pretty much how it works and the only real struggle I had was the one with the umbrella because, you know, I had to kind of like go with the corners and make sure I wasn't, you know, like jaggeding edges or anything like that. So yeah, aside from that, it was easy. What I would recommend doing is if you have trouble with the umbrella, try and use the square version of the umbrella instead of the jagged edges. So yeah. Just, I would recommend using the square one. I just use the jagged one because, you know, uh, you know, I like to keep things interesting here. So while we wait for the other sugar candy to print, let's, let me show you another piece of 3D printed work I've been working on. So another one, another type of 3D printed work I've been doing is the squid game masks of the guards so the guards masks aren't as difficult to create as you think they're pretty simple there's only really three variants there's circle square and then triangle so it's not really too difficult it's not impossible so yeah it wasn't too hard so yeah um plus i was thinking about printing that one too because of course it would save a lot of money for, you know, Halloween because then I wouldn't need to buy a mask or a costume because the guard's costume is pretty simple. Aside from the mask, it's pretty much just a red hazmat suit. 
pretty much with gloves, technically. So yeah, uh, depending on how well this video does, I might do a part two where I compare the normal candy and the printed one. And if it does even better, I might do the printing, I might print the masks as well too. So yeah, if you enjoy stuff like that, you know, feel free to drop a sub or a like. So yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks.